Good morning, Holy Spirit, for strengthening us with the truth of the Bible daily. We praise you, O God, for your redemptive and healing word. Grant us the grace with the help of the Holy Spirit to practice the truth for our liberty in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved in Christ, the psalmist is so sure of the truthfulness of the Bible or the scriptures that he declared in Psalm number 109 verse 19, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. As we survey the world sin with God's will at hand and also with the chaos and uncertain things that surround us, we know we do not worship an absentee God. He is standing in the shadow of history, still working to bring his plans to completion. Therefore, we do not disturb by the pictures of chaos, violence, bloodshed, and war that fill our television screens and flood our newspapers. We know these are the consequences of humanity's evil and sin caused by our rebellion against God. Every headline, every news report confirms what the prophet Jeremiah said centuries ago. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it? Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. But never forget, Jesus Christ is the absolute truth who offered himself as the Lamb of God to bear the sins of many on the cross. We were crucified with him, buried with him, and were raised with him as well now living with him in heavenly places, overcoming the world, the flesh, and the devil. Friends, the story of the Bible is the story of Jesus Christ and him crucified. Unfortunately, the great truth of the cross of Christ, the greatest need of humankind is greatly ignored or even rejected. But dozens of times Jesus declares, I tell you the truth. In one of his boldest and most uncompromising statements, he affirmed, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. At great expense, the Father has provided a way of salvation for all. He expects us to take it. Beloved, do not be misled by the moral and spiritual decay, relativity or dependency or confidence of our age. God has revealed his truth to us. In his written word, the Bible, and in the living word, Jesus Christ. And because Jesus is the absolute truth, you can depend on him completely. More importantly, God will speak history's final word. Every day, my brother, my sister, the world moves closer to the time 
when Christ will return, Satan will be defeated and God's perfect plan will be fulfilled. Beloved, no matter how foreboding or anxiety or fear or dread the future, the Christian knows the end of the story and it is glorious for the cross and the resurrection power working for all of us who believed. Remember the best is yet to be and stay blessed. Bye for now.